Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got another exciting video for you. I will be answering a few Christmassy questions. They're really fun, playful, nothing too serious, um, and hopefully you'll get to know me a little bit better as well. Towards the end of the video, I'll share with you my latest purchase, and it has got to be the most exciting thing I bought this year. So um, let's see if it lives up to its expectation and if it really is as good um, as it is advertised. So with that teaser, I'm just going to jump right into all the Christmassy questions. I've got my laptop here, so if I'm looking down, that's exactly why. But like I said, today is just going to be super fun, playful, and hopefully one that you can watch over the Christmas break. So the very first question is, what is your favourite Christmas movie? I'm really into classics, so it's got to be Home Alone, the original one, not really the, the one in New York, um, but Home Alone, uh, The Holiday, I love The Holiday, surely that's uh, everybody's favourite Christmas movie, and The Grinch, yeah, I, I like those, um, I'd, probably, I'd probably say they're my top three. Have you ever had a white Christmas? I have, quite a number of times. If you've seen any of my other videos, you may know that I was actually born in Poland. So Poland is an incredibly snowy country, especially at winter time. So yeah, I have had quite a few snowy Christmases uh, when I was little, of course, not, not so much in the recent years. Um, but I think at the moment from seeing my friends family um, that still live out there um, they have a lot of snow right now so it looks like uh, they're set for a really nice beautiful um, picturesque Christmas this year. Where do you usually spend your holiday? My holiday is usually spent at home. Um, I think I have always kind of uh, stayed at my family's house. Uh, of course I don't live at home anymore. I moved out uh, a few years ago so um, I always make sure that I go and see my family over the Christmas time. A few years ago, I spent Christmas uh, in Manila in the Philippines. And again, that was probably one of my best Christmas memories. It was nothing like your regular Christmas. It was just myself and a friend of mine and we had the best time. Um, yeah, it, it was really magical and it was hot, it was warm. Um, the people were the nicest people you ever meet. So, so that was a really great memory of mine. And then soon after we went on a really beautiful tour around uh, Philippines. We went to island hopping and that was a great way to start the year. What is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song has got to be, I'm just gonna be really classic and boring. I'm gonna say it's maybe last Christmas. I'm not really into Mariah Carey so much. I used to be when I was younger, but these days I think I'm more into the, the classics. Um, but the, I'm sure there's quite a few carols that I also love. I just can't think of one. Oh, um, I really love the song. I don't know the name, but is it? It's something about wine. Um, mistletoe wine. Christmas time, mistletoe wine. But I don't know the name. Um, I'm sure it has a really nice title. But that's a really good song. It's really old, um, really old school. But honestly, it's so, so nice. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Uh, yes, I open all of my presents on Christmas Eve. I was born in Poland and the tradition is that you have a really nice Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve, the 24th. And I think the tradition is that you sat down, you sit down for dinner as soon as there is a beautiful uh, star in the sky. So when I was a child, I used to always look out for the shining star in the sky before we could sit down um, for dinner. So you'd sit down for dinner, everybody would obviously enjoy themselves, have a few drinks, and um, after, no, before dessert, we would always usually open up our presents. Um, and that tradition has kind of continued. So now, of course, I don't live in Poland anymore. I haven't for many years, but we still open our presents on, Chris, on uh, Christmas Eve. Um, it's a really wonderful tradition and I think uh, once I have my own family, I'll probably continue with that too. Um, and some people ask, oh, does it feel like uh, Christmas is spoiled for me? No, it doesn't. I mean, I don't really know any difference. I guess if you don't know any different, then, then you're happy. And of course, Christmas Day is always a wonderful day with lots of great food and drinks. Um, okay, so the next question is, can you name all Saint as reindeers? Rudolph dancer I can't I can't when I was little I definitely could probably had them like that but no not anymore um 
What holiday traditions are you looking forward to this year? In terms of traditions, um, my boyfriend and I have decided a few years ago that actually we will not do presents for each other. We are very uh, fortunate that we have a lot of wonderful things in life. So we have decided that our tradition is going to be booking a holiday in place of presents. So every January we all go somewhere a little bit further out. Uh, so last year we went to Dominican. And of course this year we are going somewhere super special and I'll definitely take you with me. Um, yeah, and I'm very much looking forward, um, forward to that. The next question is, is your Christmas tree real or fake? So when I was little, my grandma used to always have the biggest Christmas tree, huge, absolutely huge. Um, it was dressed in the most wonderful baubles. They were all hand painted. And she used to always have all these incredible colors as well. Um, and it, but the Christmas tree was fake. Uh, so that's the Christmas tree I remember from my childhood. Um, but of course now I always have a real tree. My mum has a real tree, so we are definitely team real trees. And yes, it does get annoying um, that sometimes you have to pick up all the needles, um, but actually there's, there's joy in that. And um, if you want to see my Christmas tree, I have a separate video um, all about decorating it this year. So I'm going to make sure it's linked down below. So definitely check it out and have a look um, at the kind, kind of style I went for. What is your favorite old time holiday treat, food or sweet? I'm a big foodie, so it's really hard just to pick one. But I think um, in terms of savory dishes, I love pierogi. It's a Polish dish with, um, it's essentially a dumpling. Uh, and my favorite ones are the ones with um, mushrooms and, and cabbage. And in terms of sweet things, cheesecake. I love a cheesecake. Any time of the year, cheesecake is my favorite, but Christmas especially. My mum makes a really good one. Um, I've tried to make it a few times uh, with Biscoff, but yeah, it's not worked out for me. I'm not a really great baker, even though that cheesecake is not, it's not, you're not supposed to bake it, but yeah, desserts and I are just, we don't go together. The next question is, do you like giving or receiving gifts? I love giving gifts. One of my favorite things on Christmas Eve is to actually watch the people I got gifts for open them um, and hopefully they like them too, which is obviously a, a great bonus. What is the best Christmas present you've ever received? That's an incredibly hard question and it's hard just to uh, point out one. Every time I receive a gift, I'm incredibly grateful because not only has that person spent their time and money looking for that gift, they also thought about me. So it's really hard to pick one um, and any gift I get, I'm incredibly grateful for. What would be your dream place to visit over the holiday season? I think somewhere in the mountains, maybe somewhere like Switzerland, in a cute little cabin with a log burner, um, a nice sparkly Christmas tree with lots of snow. Um, yeah, I guess that'd be my dream place. So who knows, maybe that'll be something I'll do next year. Um, but also Poland is a wonderful place to go, especially in the mountain region in Zakopane. Um, one of the most beautiful um, regions in the country. So if you still haven't heard of it, which not many people have, I do recommend you to uh, Google it and have a look. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I used to always think of myself as a really good present wrapper. This year I've logged the experience and safe to say it was a complete fail. I'm going to make sure that that video is linked down below so you can check it out. But I'm just going to blame it on the paper. The paper was terrible, it was, yeah, it was not a great quality paper. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say, but um, no, really, it's just not really worked out for me this year. They're not terrible, they're not terrible looking presents, but I mean, they're not masterpieces, let's let's be honest. What made you realize the truth about Santa? Um, so I actually probably realized Santa's not real when I was about eight, seven, eight. Um, I think it was my cousin that told me Honestly, I think she burst the bubble for me and she was younger as well. So yeah, that's how I found out. The very last question is what makes the holidays special for you? I'd probably have to say that it's uh, the most sparkly holiday of all, um, the most cozy holiday as well. Um, and I really can't wait for the time where I actually have a big house, have a big fire, um, that I could just warm up. 
<laughs> warm up by every night with a nice cup of hot chocolate. Uh, but yeah, it's probably just the time with the friends and family. Um, good food, good drinks, um, old wine. Um, yeah, I love the coziness around it. But um, yeah, it's probably the highlight of winter, really. Um, and skiing. Skiing is also a highlight of winter, but, but I am a definite summer fan. So having said all these wonderful things today, I really cannot wait until the weather gets warmer and the sun is out again. As promised, I wanted to show you my latest purchase. And that is, of course, the Shark Flex Style. I wanted this for quite some time and I originally wanted a Dyson Airwrap. So I think I decided that I was going to get it in August, July, August. Then I had lots and lots of different trips in the way. Um, so I kind of delayed buying it. And soon after I saw um, a YouTube video actually uh, comparing the Shark Flex style to the Dyson. And the person actually explained that it's more or less the same thing with the Shark being a lot more affordable. Since then I've seen lots of other videos and materials online um, comparing both tools and uh, raving about the Shark. Um, so with it being a lot cheaper and also with it being the new thing, I decided to opt for the Shark. So when I finally decided to place the order, it was sold out everywhere. Amazon boots, curries, you name it, you just couldn't place the order. Of course, with Christmas right around the corner, um, lots of people decided to get this um, for others as their gifts, which of course it is a great gift idea. But as I was doing my research, I actually saw that you can get this on a shark directly. It was of course sold out again, um, so I signed up to a mailing list whereby they were going to notify me if it does come back in stock. Um, so I kind of left it at that. It was a little bit cheaper on the Shark website as well. It was $279.99 and everywhere else it was $299.99. So a £20 saving. Um, and just recently I was browsing um, again and randomly I decided to look it up again. Just check if it maybe came back in stock. Um, and it did. So I really quickly made the order arrived the next day so if you're thinking thinking about maybe buying this definitely do it through shark because you get free next day delivery and a really great uh, customer experience as well so i really hope that this is going to change the way i do my hair really my hair is incredibly fine um you probably noticed in lots of my videos my hair is fine it's really flat it's not bouncy so i really hope this is going to bring it back to life I'm definitely going to do a first impressions, a review, and maybe um, show you how I kind of get on with it the first time I use it. See if it is really any good. I've got to say I don't enjoy doing my hair. It's not something I ever liked, and especially it being so flat, I kind of give up really. But um, yeah, I have really high hopes for this. We'll see how how I get on. And also I got the white version. I think um, most uh, people in America have the white version. But actually if you get it from Boots, Curries, anywhere else here in the UK, you get the black and the pink. So um, yeah, not that it really matters. I mean, it's just the colour. But that's that. A little gift to myself um, ahead of Christmas. I should have probably wrapped this and opened it on Christmas Eve. But there we go. But this completes the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out the videos I mentioned today. They'll be linked down below. Please don't forget to subscribe. Every time you do, honestly, my heart melts. So please don't forget to hit that button. Of course, I'll see you in the next one. Where we'll be talking all things Shark Flex style, trying it out, seeing if it holds, all that good stuff. Thanks so much and uh, I really hope to see you soon.